putting life on pause to honor our fallen heroes. This Memorial Day, families across the nation came together to remember those who sacrificed their lives. This was the scene in Sarasota at the annual parade downtown. The parade was followed by a ceremony and unveiling of a new patriotic mural. Uh, the Florida National Cemetery also held its first public ceremony since the start of the pandemic to honor the fallen. And the Bay Pines National Cemetery held its own Memorial Day tribute as well. And in Clearwater tonight, dozens of people gathered for a ceremony at Crest Lake Park. More than 1.3 million Americans have died serving our country. And 10 Tampa Bay's Hannah Deneen spoke to local service members about their own friends and family who never made it home. Could have been one of those guys myself, I guess. For some reason, I, I'm here. On this Memorial Day, service members reflecting on the ones they fought beside who never made it home. A lot of young men died and I'm still alive at 85. Important part today is not the picnic, not the hamburgers and hot dogs. It's celebrating what their veterans did to make you be able to have those hamburgers and hot dogs. Like Army Corporal Frankie Gross, just 25 years old when he was killed in Afghanistan. It's Memorial Day every day for us Gold Star families. Frankie's father, Craig Gross, says what most families like his want is not sympathy. Very few of us want people to feel sorry for us. The thing that's most important to us is that people honor the memory of our sons and our daughters. Honoring their memory and recognizing them as heroes. I hope that, uh, that people would say to their sons or daughters, wouldn't you like to be like Frankie Gross? That would be awesome.